Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our lecture on identity and flux. Today, we'll venture into the nuanced perspectives of historians Jacob Burkhardt and Stephen Greenblatt, exploring the multifaceted concept of identity and its connection with cultural artifacts and spiritual individualism. To start, let's define our key terms. When we say spiritual individuals, we refer to Burkhardt's conception of individuals who are understood as autonomous entities distinct from their societal roles and exhibiting a self-consciousness that transcends group affiliations. These individuals see themselves as possessing an intrinsic spiritual nature that shapes their identity. On the other hand, Personal agency speaks to one's ability to act independently and make free choices. It is the capacity of individuals to act autonomously within their environment, contributing to the formation of their identity. Jacob Burkhardt, a prominent historian of the Renaissance, perceived individuals as spiritual entities, distinct from societal groups. For Burkhardt, the Renaissance marked the birth of the modern individual. He famously observed, open quote, the discovery of the world and of man, close quote, during this period. And this suggests a newly found awareness of self as separate from societal roles, a critical aspect of the spiritual individual and their individuality. In contrast, Stephen Greenblatt, one of the founders of the theory of new historicism, sees identity as largely constructed through cultural artifacts and societal influences. Greenblatt wrote, open quote, cultural expressions are not simply the manifestations of individual genius or collective belief. They are also the products of specific historical situations of the tensions and negotiations they involve, close quote. For Greenblatt, Identity is a product of historical and social circumstances that must be interpreted within their specific context. This tension between personal agency and social construction creates an intricate interplay in our understanding of identity formation. On the one hand, we have Burkhardt's notion of spiritual individuals who can carve their identities distinct from societal expectations. On the other, we have Greenblatt's argument that our identities are largely products of cultural and social constructs. So how can one shape their identity amidst this dynamic dynamism of cultural artifacts, societal institutions, and individual spirituality? I propose three ways. First, through the acquisition of knowledge. Knowledge is empowering. It expands our worldviews, allowing us to navigate societal narratives and select aspects that resonate with our inner values. An informed individual can consciously mold their identity by selectively embracing or rejecting societal influences. Second, through self-reflection. Self-reflection involves a deliberate attempt to understand one's thoughts, emotions, and reactions. It involves questioning societal narratives and looking within ourselves to uncover authentic expressions of identity. This introspective journey allows us to understand our spiritual individuality as Burkhardt envisioned. Lastly, active participation in societal discourse and activities helps to shape our identities, whether through engaging in social causes, creating art, or expressing one's opinion in public dialogue. Active engagement with society allows individuals to assert their personal agency and constructing their identities. In conclusion, the concept of identity remains in flux, wavering between the spiritual individuality proposed by Burkhart and the societal constructs highlighted by Greenblatt. Our identities are both personal endeavors and societal constructs, shaped and reshaped within the crucible of cultural artifacts, societal institutions, and personal agency. By embracing knowledge acquisition, self-reflection, and active societal engagement, we can navigate this flux, consciously shaping our identities, even in the face of pervasive external influences. As we oscillate between these influences, we realize that our identities are unique, evolving, and capable of influencing the society that initially helped shape them.